The Kansas City Chiefs have released their depth chart heading into the preseason opener against the New Orleans Saints, and I thought I would react to some things that stood out to me. Of course, the preseason opener is on Sunday against New Orleans, and could some surprise cuts be coming based on what the initial depth chart shows? Perhaps, but obviously a lot of camp and preseason to go. Before we dive into my main takeaways of the Chiefs depth chart, Name a surprise Chiefs cut candidate. Who's someone out there that's a notable name that you think could end up getting cut? Let me know down in the comments below who a surprise cut candidate could be. All right, let's get to my first takeaway here. Blaine Gabbert listed as the number two quarterback, which isn't a surprise, but I do think it's something to point out because obviously when Chad Henney retired, the initial thought was, okay, is Shane Bouchelle ready or not to be the backup quarterback? Well, they went out and signed uh, Blaine Gabbert later on in free agency, which suggested that he's at least going to have to compete for that QB2 job. And as of now, Gabbert does hold that position. Now, Bouchelle has played a lot in the preseason the last couple of seasons, and I would expect that to be the case again this year. And that's why I said I think it's a huge preseason for him coming up uh, over the next three weeks. I think the thing with Bouchelle is that they like his arm strength, they like his aggressiveness, but he's had too many turnovers. I think the Chiefs need to see more consistency from him to view him as a backup option. He's going to have to earn Andy Reid's trust to be the true number two quarterback. If not, he'll either stick around as the three or perhaps end up being a practice squad quarterback if the Chiefs don't want to carry three. I'm hopeful for Bouchelle. I hope he gets a real opportunity to win the backup job. Uh, and to see if that can play out or not in the preseason. Subscribe and join us. We'll be live for the first watch party of the year on Sunday when the Chiefs take on the Saints uh, to start out the preseason. 11.30 a.m. Central Time is when we'll go live with kickoff set for noon Central. Join us on Sunday as we'll have full play-by-play -play coverage throughout that one. Okay, Justin Watson is safe. Uh, I feel pretty good about him making the 53 man roster. Now, I could sit here and debate whether or not that should or should not be the case, but uh, he was on the two deeps uh, in three wide receiver sets, so that has him as a top six receiver uh, up to this point. He was ahead of Justin Ross, so I think that's notable. Uh, I think the Chiefs just value what he brings to the table. He's got special teams uh, value. He's sure-handed. Patrick Mahomes uh, became a fan of his last year. He was a guy who gave this team some big plays a year ago, averaging 21 yards per catch. Now, I think his ceiling is lower than a Justin Ross and a Richie James and something like that, but uh, I think Watson is on the right side of the 53 of the roster bubble at this point, and possibly he's not even on the roster bubble. We'll see how it plays out in the preseason, but I think based on this initial depth chart, he's pretty safe to make this team. The question is, is the other Justin safe? Is Justin Ross safe to make the 53-man roster? Because I think at the wide receiver position as purely a receiving option, Ross has had the better camp and is the better player than Justin Watson. He's highly touted. He was a huge recruit. He was great early on in college. We've talked about his journey uh, quite a bit. He was listed essentially as the number seven receiver, which puts him squarely on that roster. If you're asking me, in my opinion, I think Justin Ross should make this team. I just do. I, I think he's made a lot of plays in the preseason. He's someone who has a higher ceiling than a guy uh, like Justin Watson. They've been trying to get him some run on special teams in the preseason. If he can have some value there, if it comes down to those two, I would rather keep Justin Ross, but I think Watson's in, so it may come down to whether or not Ross does end up earning a roster spot at the end of the day. Now pick a Justin with an I or a Y. We all spell it different these days. Type W for Justin Watson or type R for Justin Ross. If I had to pick one, I'm gambling on the upside of Justin Ross, but I think if the Chiefs had to make a decision today, they would lean Justin Watson, a player that they simply just trust a little bit more. Now bet US, you want to trust uh, to have yourself some fun in the preseason. The only way to have a great time in the preseason is to bet on these games. Let's be completely honest. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Use that promo code Chiefs125 to get 125% deposit bonus. Saints are three-point favorites. The over-under is 38 points. So, you know, Vegas thinks this is a 21-17, 20-17 type of game uh, in the preseason opener. So if you're feeling uh, good one way or the other, or if you just want to keep it interesting and have some fun, go bet on this one. Saints are the favorites. Total over-under 38 points. 
Get your bets in with BetUF. Chatsports.com slash Chiefsbet. That promo code Chiefs125 will get you 125% deposit bonus. Okay, rookies got to earn their stripes. That's definitely something that stands out here. And I think with a veteran championship caliber team like Kansas City, that certainly makes sense. Just going player by player here, Felix Andudike Uzoma, uh, he's listed as a third-string edge rusher right now. He's got to work his way up. Uh, Rasheed Rice, we'll get to him in a second. Wanya Morris, he's behind uh, Prince Tegawanagu uh, right now. He's the third-string left tackle. Jamari Connor, uh, he is, um, I think, the fourth safety right now. B.J. Thompson uh, is fourth string right now. Keandre Coburn, third string. Nick Jones, third or fourth string. Uh, the point being is that uh, these guys have to earn uh, their stay, and they're going to have to play well in the preseason to move up that depth chart. Now, uh, Rasheed Rice is second string, and I think it's notable at receiver, crowd of position uh, right now. I think, I guess technically, Jamari Connor is as well, but fourth safety, like, that's not quite the same as, like, the third or fourth receiver, right? Like, I think that's going to have more impact. We know Rasheed Rice is going to play more on offense than Jamari Connor is on defense. Connor will play on special teams a lot, but uh, Rice is the only rookie right now that is in line to get a decent amount of playing time on either offense or defense. That could certainly change, but looking back at the draft, the Chiefs kind of took some swings on some projects, and uh, it wasn't all necessarily about this year for some of those guys. Okay, uh, next one here. Generic Prince is the starting kick returner? Well, at least right now he is. Uh, he is listed as the starting kick returner at this point in time. Richie James of note, the starting punt returner on paper, and I think that's notable too if you get back into that bubble wide receiver conversation with Watson ahead of Ross and James ahead of him and as the starting punt returner, those two wouldn't be ahead of Justin Ross at this point in time. But the generic Prince kind of, I don't want to say hype train, but uh, just kind of discussion has been ongoing for months, right? Like Dave Tobe said he's going to get the first crack at being the starting kick returner and that appears to be the case here in the preseason. So I'm excited to see what he can do. I think he would be on my top five or six players uh, I'm most excited to watch in this preseason opener against the New Orleans Saints to see if he can lock down a job early on in preseason. Now, what is your biggest surprise from the Chiefs' first depth chart? Like, what stands out to you uh, more than anything else? Let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe Wanya Morris being behind Prince Tegawanagu. That, that was a bit of a surprise, but that could just be one of those rookie things as well. Let us know what your thoughts on that are. All right, Chiefs Kingdom, I'm Harrison Graham. We'll have a couple of videos leading up to Sunday's preseason opener. Until then, go Chiefs, and we'll see you guys on Sunday for that watch party.